I'm Chris Edwards and welcome to this week's Tennis Warehouse vlog. This week we give you a quick sneak peek of the new Wilson Clash rackets and we've also got some vintage rackets for you as well. So here I've got the Clash Pro in my hands and I've also brought in the Clash 100 but we will have all of the Clash models available for pre-sale towards the end of the month and then beginning of March they are in stock ready to ship. We've been hitting the Pro and the 100 quite a bit because we're going to do reviews on these so I brought these two on the vlog just to give you a quick look. Really nice update to the cosmetic I think these are beautiful looking rackets and then I'm really liking the the way they've labeled these the Clash down the side there it's almost like it's engraved in to the side of the beam so I really like that cosmetic detail. And then playability wise, if you are a big fan of the previous Clash models, you're gonna to continue to enjoy these. Super easy to transition into these rackets. They still offer that really plush feel at contact, really nice and soft, but tons of power, easy access to spin. Um, hit a nice loopy ball out of both of these so I get good access to depth. The Pro is gonna give you a bit more plow through power, so it's a good racket for that intermediate through advanced level player and then this is the 100 this one's lighter whippier if you like to slice and dice or add a lot of spin to your game good for carving angles or just looking for something that's easy to get around the body then i think the 100 is a great way to go and we'll bring in the other models and go into more detail and specs etc as those get closer to going on pre-sale okay let's jump into some vintage now first up i've got this slazenger and this is a guillermo vilas racket we've had one of these on the vlog before it's one of my favorite wood racket cosmetics uh, looks beautiful on the wall when i have it hanging um but with a bunch of other wood rackets this one really pops and stands out so i think it's a great addition to your collection it's also a fun one to get out and hit okay next up jump into some uh, graphite here we've got a long body from gamma and this was their tradition 2.0 xl racket so it's a full inch longer than a standard length racket does have the crossbar stabilizer in it very classic beam design uh, straight beam on this one and these were, remember playing pretty crisp back in the day I hit these one of my uh, college teammates actually was using a standard length version of this racket and it was a pretty firm playing racket he was coming out of a prince graphite 2 i believe when he came into this and um, it was a little bit crisper it's got a little bit more pop on the ball and the plus with the uh, longer length you're really gonna crush the ball with that one right there then jumping in to a pro Kenex, this is the composite destiny Again, really like the cosmetic on this one. This one is strung up and ready to go. So if you want to add it to your collection, you can get out and hit it. Still got the plastic on the handle over, I believe that is a blue leather grip down there. Um, beautiful racket again, 95 square inches on this one and really early round shaft beam design. Um, Procanex, one of the first to bring that to the mass market. And then last but certainly not least, another beaut here is the Snowit Boronite. And um, right at the end of the wood era, here as we're seeing more technology creeping in to the wooden rackets and just love that plain, clean cosmetic on this one. Again, great collectible. Um, I'd throw some uh, black string in this, maybe a black multi-filament, um, like multi-feel or something like that. And it would just look super cool carrying on that all black theme on that racket right there. That's all I got for this week. Thank you so much for watching.